Red Planet, New Home, written by Andy Weir. The year is 2042. Earth, our pale blue dot, now strains under the weight of eight billion souls. Resources dwindle, the environment groans. Hope, once a beacon, flickers precariously. But on the horizon, a rusty orange glimmer, Mars. Could this cold, desolate world be humanity's salvation? Could we transform this alien landscape into a second home? The answer, like Mars itself, remains shrouded in mystery and danger. The Great Martian Exodus, a logistics nightmare. Moving 8 billion people, a staggering number, across the gulf of space presents an unparalleled logistical challenge. The sheer scale of this endeavor is mind-boggling, coordinating the departure of billions from Earth, ensuring everyone has a place on these massive ships, and managing the resources needed for such a journey is a task of epic proportions. Imagine a fleet of colossal spaceships, each dwarfing our largest aircraft carriers, ferrying millions on a one-way trip. These ships would need to be equipped with life support systems, food supplies and medical facilities to sustain human life for the duration of the journey which could take months. The journey itself would be fraught with risk. Space is an unforgiving environment and the dangers are numerous. From the threat of micrometeoroids to the potential for catastrophic equipment failures, every moment of the voyage would be a test of human ingenuity and resilience. Radiation, equipment malfunction, and the psychological toll of confined space travel would test the limits of human endurance. Astronauts would need to be prepared for long periods of isolation, limited communication with Earth, and the constant stress of living in a confined space. Upon arrival, the challenges multiply. Mars is a harsh and unforgiving environment, and the first settlers would face a myriad of obstacles. Mars, unforgiving and barren, offers no breathable air, no readily available water, and temperatures that would make the Arctic feel balmy. The thin atmosphere provides little protection from cosmic radiation, and the dust storms that sweep across the planet can last for months. Survival hinges on our ability to establish self-sustaining habitats capable of providing breathable air, potable water and protection from the harsh Martian elements. These habitats would need to be built using materials found on Mars and the settlers would need to be able to grow their own food and generate their own power. The success of the Great Martian Exodus depends on our ability to overcome these monumental challenges. Martian terraforming breathing life into a barren world. Our survival on Mars hinges on our ability to transform its hostile environment into something resembling Earth. This monumental task known as terraforming would involve thickening Mars's thin atmosphere to trap heat and allow liquid water to exist. We might achieve this by introducing genetically engineered organisms capable of releasing greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Water, the elixir of life, would need to be sourced from Martian ice caps and deep underground reserves. This precious resource would irrigate crops grown within enclosed, pressurized habitats, providing sustenance for the burgeoning Martian population. Red Sands New Societies Building a Martian Civilization Imagine a world where the red sands of Mars are transformed into bustling cities where futuristic buildings rise against the stark Martian landscape and people walk under the alien sky, creating a new home far from Earth. Imagine a society where every breath of air, every drop of water is meticulously recycled and reused. On Mars, this isn't just a vision, it's a necessity. Advanced recycling systems would ensure that nothing goes to waste turning every resource into a precious commodity. On Mars, such resource consciousness wouldn't be a lifestyle choice. It would be a matter of survival. Life support systems would be the lifeline of the colony, with astronauts constantly monitoring and managing these systems to ensure the well-being of every inhabitant. Cooperation and community would be paramount, with individuals working together to maintain the delicate balance of their artificial ecosystem. The spirit of collaboration would be ingrained in every aspect of life, from daily chores to complex scientific endeavors. The harsh Martian environment would likely foster a new social contract, one where the common good outweighs individual desires. The extreme conditions would necessitate a shift in values, prioritizing collective survival over personal gain. New forms of governance, perhaps based on scientific consensus or resource management, might emerge. Decision-making would be driven by data and the need to optimize limited resources 
creating a society where science and practicality guide every action. The Martian colony, born of necessity, would be a crucible for innovation and societal adaptation. The challenges of living on Mars would push humanity to develop new technologies and social structures, turning the Red Planet into a beacon of human ingenuity and resilience. Challenges and opportunities on the Red Frontier. Life on Mars wouldn't be easy. The psychological impact of living within confined habitats under an alien sky could take its toll. The lack of Earth's familiar rhythms, the changing seasons, the ebb and flow of tides could lead to disorientation and longing. Yet from these challenges spring opportunities. The need for innovative solutions would drive technological advancements in fields like robotics, closed-loop life support systems and advanced materials science. The exploration of Mars' surface could unlock secrets of the universe, perhaps even evidence of past or present life. The Martian spirit unity, ingenuity and the will to survive, moving 8 billion people to Mars might seem like a distant dream, a plot point in a science fiction novel. But what if this dream becomes our reality? What if the very survival of our species depends on our ability to adapt and thrive on a new world? The challenges we face on a crowded Earth, dwindling resources, environmental degradation, might one day make this fantastical scenario a necessity. Our planet, once abundant and nurturing, is now struggling under the weight of human activity. Pollution chokes our cities and natural resources are becoming scarce. The true significance of a Martian migration lies not in its logistical hurdles, but in what it reveals about the human spirit. Our capacity for innovation, our willingness to adapt and our enduring hope for a brighter future. Scientists and engineers are already working tirelessly to develop the technology that will make this possible. From advanced life support systems to sustainable habitats, every innovation brings us one step closer to making Mars our new home. The Red Planet, once a symbol of hostility and desolation, could become a testament to humanity's resilience, ingenuity and our indomitable will to survive. Imagine a thriving colony on Mars with advanced structures and a community of people who have overcome the odds. This vision is not just about survival, it's about thriving in the face of adversity and proving that no matter the challenge, humanity will always find a way to endure and prosper.